Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you how to use sub-launched ballistic missiles in Hoi 4 Millennium Dawn. I did a video literally a few days ago about how to use nuclear missiles on it and a couple people were asking how to use sub-launched ballistic missiles and I didn't really cover it, I totally forgot to, so my bad. So this video is going to be the follow-up on how to do it. So what you're going to first have to do is under your research slot after you have nukes and everything, you're going to go to naval and try to find your sub-launched uh, ballistic missile uh, submarines. So SMBLs, uh, whatever they're called. They're basically these, the missile submarines. They're gonna be right here, missile subs. So after you have it researched, you're gonna go into your production like I did here, create a variant of it, and you're gonna add these things, which are the VLS land attack missiles. That's going to represent how many nuclear weapons you actually have in the submarine. So here we have, um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know exactly how to count it, but um, I've just been going based on, okay, so I have four in the sub, so I'm just gonna assume that means I can fire four. And uh, that's so far been working out pretty well for me. So after you have those all set up and everything, you're gonna figure out who you're going to war with. We're gonna go to war with the United States. We also, for our nuclear doctrine, have a first strike on. We have our missiles, everything. So this is where it becomes tricky. You have to have a nearby landmass to invade or actually fire it. It's really weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this ship over here. Oh good, they're here. So Again, this is so weird, but you're gonna go into your missile production here. Go to Missile Launch Control Center. You're gonna find your sub-launched ballistic missiles. For us, it's the Skiffs, Stingrays, etc. A way you can easily find this if you don't know what it is, because it doesn't tell you what they are, just the name of it. Go to your Research tab, go to Ballistic Missile Tech, and look on the right side. The right side's your sub-launched missiles, so we know it's the Savinia, the Skiff, and Stingrays. So, oops, now that we're back in here, we're gonna go under this and we're gonna tar uh, use a skiff. Gonna have um, four salvo. Actually, let's go ahead and go to war with the United States so we can do this properly. Cool. Uh, so now that we have a skiff selected and also for the thermonuclear warhead, we're gonna click uh, this one right here, the one megaton. So our ships are here, but we have to have a land connection to fire from. So since there's obviously no land over here that we can click in this entire state, you have to go to the next close one. So you have to really do this really weird. So we're just gonna have to go by Mexico. And now that we're by Mexico, oops, let me pull this back up. We can now select this. So it's really, it just has to be near a land source for you to fire. So you're gonna select the state and then you're gonna fire just like you would normally so I'm gonna go ahead and set this up there and then do the exact same thing over here in Bermuda uh, again find a skiff nuclear warhead we're gonna have the one megaton we're then gonna click Bermuda oops I did not want to just do one let's do 10 for DC I don't know and then you're gonna select DC and fire. And now they'll fire within like a couple days and they've already, there you go. That's how you use ICBMs or sub-launch ballistic missiles. It, it's really weird that they have it like this, but you have to select the land. And actually you might be able to select the land down here, but oh, I know that's right. It's whatever land is in the territory of the sub for the C zone. So it has to be connecting to the C zone. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below and subscribe. I really appreciate it and check back for more Hoi 4 content all the time. So thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Stay awesome.